Okay, what we have here is a Honda GX200 clone head, and it's been ported, flowed, and now this is the Harbor Freight gasket. But you can see these are the pins for the GX which fit in there. But these are the pins for the Harbor Freight. You can see the Harbor Freight. Uh, they're basically bigger. So we're gonna have to drill these out like that, see? Actually you should have a third one. And also I noticed that right here, see right there? It's pretty thin. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use gasket cement sort of. And there, look at this. This isn't mine, but you can see how it's bleeding over. And I actually bought this engine off this guy because they don't really have time to fix them then. That's why everybody just gets them already built for them, you know? Whereas this way, I uh, build them myself and I know what's wrong with it. It's kind of like everything else. You build it yourself and it actually costs more money than if you get them to build it. But you know what? It really is done better if you know what you're doing. So what we drill these out with, I do believe it was... Uh, I have one of these right here, and I also have uh, about half a dozen of these. So you can do it either way, but I found out this is much easier. You just stuff it in the hole that fits, you know, which is the 7 sixteenths, because the 27 64th is too small, and then on the back it's got the metric system, see? 7 sixteenths is 11.1 .1 millimeters, see? So that's what we're going to do. I guess you could do it, I could do it on a drill hand, hand drill, but you know what, to get good at doing that on a hand drill, you're going to have to mess up a lot of stuff before you get it right. It would be really good from the get-go, you know, like the sports athletes, like say Daryl Strawberry or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you're just going to have to be just a born natural uh, drill expert with the hand drill. So we're going to get this dowel pin to fit in there, see, and you got to put gloves on in case something goes wrong, and these here are worker man gloves, see, so, it's really easy with the drill press, let me show you, 7 sixteenths. So stick it in there now. Oh yeah, it's nice and tight. So there we go. See that sticks out the bottom there. See if we got that original to the Harbor Freight head. Perfect. This one, clean the machine off again. See, this is perfect, man. Now that, and that's about it. Man, does this thing put the air out, this baby? <laughs> Take all this crap off. See, we'll take all those plugs out. And yes, fix. Go.
now I'm going to stick this um, I'm sticking these cylinder head stud kit in there just like I stuck the stud kit on the side. The stud kit will give you more torque so you don't do this. You know it'll pull this down. See how what's given it is these two bolts are too far apart. If there had been another bolt right in here to draw that down right there if there had been another bolt and another bolt right here. I don't get that. Why didn't they mill it out instead of drill it and then you'd have more gaskets. So you really got to seal this gasket right there. That's really a weak point in the seal on the head of these. See that? That's all the gasket you got. Just this little band part. Yeah, this little band part that's no more than a uh, an eighth of an inch of gasket material, that's it. So yeah, these heads are pretty well set up for failure. Just cause that alone. I know the Harbor Freight's doing the same thing here too. So we're gonna just put the stud kit in now.